Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm. We're in a pretty good state. We just had a fairly good night's sleep. As you can see, we're still getting interrupted by our noisemaker bionic. Um, so before we set off, and you can tell by those question marks that that's going to be not so simple. That corridor is probably filled with zombies again. Before we set off, I remembered that we picked up some stuff. Now, we picked up a survivor's map. Let's have a look at this. A hand-drawn map of the local area, whomever created it, has marked down the locations of nearby supply sources, including gun stores and gas stations. Using it will add points of interest to your map. So let's activate that. You add, road, you add roads and possibly supply points to your map. Right, okay. So we've got... This is basically like the road maps that you find, I guess, but with... Uh, more pertinent things on it. So that's Gunsville over there. Look at all those gun shops. Bloody hell. And we've got a little hick town over there with a couple of gun shops. And what have we got down here? Some random roads marked, but yeah. Uh, lots of towns on this map. Lots of towns. And the map scrolling is incredibly slow, and there's no way to speed it up. <laughs> I really should uh, suggest that. You know, just like shift arrow keys to make it move faster. That would be nice. But, yeah, that's quite cool. So I don't need that anymore, I guess. So we can drop that. Uh, I Oh, it's a consumable. It has disappeared. Okay, so we also have an integrated toolset CBM, so I want to see what the failure rate is on this. 42% chance of damage, no. We'll save that, it's too useful to uh, squander on such terrible chances. So let's, uh, let's wield our gun and reload it, and let's shoot some zombies in the face. Because that's a good way of starting a day, isn't it? Uh, you just got bruised, now you are pulped. Might as well reload again. A bit pointless when you've only fired one shot, but whatever. Uh, let's shoot you in the face as well. There we go. Blam. Uh, doesn't seem to do as much damage as my uh, as my broadsword, really. So you had a gun, but not a desert eagle. All right, what are you miserable about now? Being wet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's no doors. There's Basically just a bare frame on a couple of sides of this vehicle now. It's not particularly good. Uh, I wonder if I can repair shit while I'm on it. Powered welder. Uh, does it... Does it run out of charge? Yeah, it has. Okay, well... Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, as far as I can tell, this car alternator will actually charge the truck battery but it won't charge it as quickly as a truck battery. Uh, and the difference between the batteries is simply the charge. The amount of charge that they can hold. So, uh, sorry about that, snake. Snake! Right. I have to attempt to navigate this rather carefully. I want to get this thing really patched up and uh, working really nicely and not having gaping holes in the sides, ow! So I'm gonna have to speed up there to get away from that and I'm driving between cars so that's not fun alright, so there we go now uh, how are we? right, I wanna get out of this bloody town I gotta come all the way down here why did I drive up here? look how big this town is though! bloody hell! That's insanity. Right, now we can speed up away from them a little bit. And we're going to break the car a little bit more. Trying to get out of here, but it's unavoidable, really. If I get swamped by a shitload of zombies, I have to speed through them. But we're going to go down the eastern edge of this town. Come on. Get through. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to have to back up a little bit here because I'm going to hit that car otherwise. Come on. Forward motion. Here we go. Zombie dogs just jumping through the holes and the walls. But yeah, the eastern edge of this town looks very residential. So we won't see as many 
zombies. Come on, turn. Oh god, suddenly it turned at a right angle. So yeah, it's mostly houses over here. And there's even a bit of a clearing in the middle of there. So that might be cool. But I've got to get past all these cars. Oh my god. It's a bit stressful. Right, this way, this way. Uh, how am I getting through there? Alright, so we're going to go around the backs of these houses. Watch out for the cave! <laughs> oh yeah, watch out for the trees as well. Alright, okay. If only it was like this all the way back. That'd be nice. Just driving through the fields, that'd be great. But there are shitloads of trees over there, so... No such luck. It looked like there was a lot of drugs in that house. I should have gone and checked it out. Never mind. I've got plenty of time to loot this house. Uh, if I don't die, obviously. If I don't get thrown out. That's a good point. Is my seatbelt alright? Yeah, it's fine. Right, okay. So now we can go to the end of this road. And look at that thing. That is mangled. What are those red things on it? They are mini fridges and kitchen units, but they're broken, so never mind. Well, there's a, an identical house to mine. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's not my house, though, is it? No. We're a long way away. Right, so let's turn and speed up. And that's a wall. Ah, uh, don't smash through the wall. Right. Back up. Oh my god. So stressful. Oh, I found a crash site. Have I checked this place out before? Uh, iodine tablets. Pretty sure I have some of those. But no, other than that, it's not particularly useful. Uh, do I have the iodine tablets? I do. I have some. So we can suffer a small amount of radiation poisoning. Oh, that's where that blob field is. I knew I'd gone past one before. I kind of want to set it on fire. For absolutely no reason. Uh, just other than the fact that I know that it's flammable. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And it's going to be fun. So, what do I have? Lighter. You. Burn, baby, burn. Right. I'm not sure if that's going to spread very far now. Well, it's not... well, it's raining, so... no. <laughs> Damn. I was hoping it would go whoosh. They are very flammable, though. Alright, I am facing the wrong direction here. Watch out for the blobs. Alright, I've got to go through here. Uh, nope. Come on. From the northwest, you hear crash. That is just the zombies smashing my car, isn't it? And they will blur uh, they will break it into a thousand pieces given half a chance. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I've never managed to clear out one of those blob caves. They they're quite troublesome. I have been trapped in one before where you just can't move because you get surrounded. Um Right, it should get a little bit quieter as I come down here. Because I have cleared parts of this side of town. So let's have a look at the vehicle. 22% batteries. That's going up, isn't it? So we are indeed generating power and storing it in the batteries. I don't know how I'm going to get through here. I have to sidle my way through there and accelerate. My god. Right. I'm going to go directly east and then come down this road and we should be fine should finally be on the road to home isn't that a Star Trek film? <laughs> uh, no, something similar to that oh god it's acid raining yeah and it's I don't have a roof oh god this could get ugly very soon but we are right next to our house. Oh, okay. Easy now. Is this our road? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, finally. Okay. Right, we need to worm our way through here. And why are there zombies here? 
There shouldn't be zombies here. They should not exist. I should have killed them all. Alright, please don't get stuck on that car. Uh, yeah, that is apparently our house. That's not right, is it? That's not the right house. Hmm. Is it up here? I may have marked the wrong house on my map. Uh, home. Yeah, it is marked. Did I drive past it? I may have done. So, we'll see. Let's have a look over here. There it is. Right, I have got to move that map marker because that is incorrect. Right, let's stop the engine, hop out, get the hell inside because we're going to get... And of course use the door because there totally isn't a gaping hole in the wall, but yeah, let's let's fix this, shall we? So let's delete that, yes. Because it's actually this one here. Note. Uh, home. There we go. Ah, finally, we're here. And uh, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had this goal for a, a while now of um yeah, just getting back here. Well, I'm going to pause the recording and sort through my inventory, drop some stuff, and wait for the acid rain to stop. And start dismantling the crap out of these cars out here, just to get bits and pieces out of them. And we're going to see what all this noise is about over here as well. It's just a fox. Alright, so I shall be back at... Okay, so I've spent most of the day in this house, and I read my electronics skill book. So my electronic skill is now at 5. And I double check that uh, integrated tool set CVM and yeah it's still saying 34% chance of failure. So what I need to do is get my first aid skill up. But in the meantime we can dismantle some vehicles uh, just to get some parts and uh, you know get our skill up as well. And we can have some, like, redundancies and stuff. But it'll be cool. And yeah, being in town is interesting. I did have a couple of random zombies. I thought they were ones that I forgot to pulp. Because it was an adult zombie and a child zombie. Uh, that just appeared out of nowhere. And a couple of those actually followed me up. I think I killed them over here, maybe. But yeah, anyway, they, they just appeared out of nowhere. And uh, interrupted my reading session. So yeah, it's actually quite fun. I will actually remove the doors because I do actually need those. It would be nice if I actually had some doors on my vehicle. Uh, yeah, just start taking stuff off. Uh, take the roof. That's plating, so that's quite nice. Uh, where was that gas tank? That was reasonable as well. Yeah, it's not armored stuff, unfortunately, but you know it'll do. If I cover my vehicle in these things, it'll be nice. So, I wonder if trunk doors just... I think they're just frames, actually, aren't they, the doors? Maybe. Oops. Yeah, nope. That's what we want. Alright, uh, let's try getting this quarter panel as well. I'm not sure what quarter panels actually are. Sheet metal? Yeah, they must be. Metal gas tank. Metal tank of gasoline. So I've actually got some... Uh, gasoline there. And yeah, I would actually like to take that tank and build it into... Oh my word, that is... Yeah, I'll have to drop my broadsword for a minute and unload that. Uh, nope. So I just want to... Well, actually, no, don't drop it on the ground. I can fill up my... No. Damn it. Yeah, I can fill this up, I think using the tank of gas that I'm holding, which is ridiculous, but... There we go, let's fill that up. So I got up to 88%. That's quite cool. But yeah, I need a pipe for this uh, wood stove that I'm going to build. But I want to replace this oven. Let's drop that in there. Because the oven doesn't hold uh, fire, <laughs> like you would expect it to, but... Yeah. Right, are we wielding the sword? No, wield the sword, please. I don't know why I didn't automatically wield that. So, 
I'm gonna grab my tools and disassemble this oven. I could just smash it, but that's a bit a bit excessive, really, isn't it? The Am I still do I still have a screwdriver on me? Have I just like never picked up a screwdriver? Well damn, I dunno. I guess that I never did. Yeah, I'm looking at the same pile there. Plastic chunks. Well crap. So I guess I am gonna smash it then. <laughs> uh I don't think I'll get anything from it. Like well, I got a heating element on a pile of lights, but I didn't get a pipe, which is what I was looking for. Uh and now all of this stuff is in the way, so let's grab all that. Go put it on this pile of crap on here. Which is crafting stuff. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, let's drop that, that's that's that. And sheet metal. Uh, I guess I could go run around in these houses. Uh, what has lockers usually? Houses usually don't have lockers, do they? They m may have a display rack in this liquor store. It will at least have some liquor in it, so that's cool. Alright, so we're going to go down here. I'm going to put safe mode on. Because I'm running around like a maniac in the dark. Uh, nope. One street over. Uh, but I am invisible, more or less. It is... Oh dear. Oh dear, I've aggroed a bear. Now, you see what you did there, safe mode. Oh, bleeding. Oh. Yeah, luckily I wasn't in, like, bad shape or anything there. Because that could have gone badly. Ooh. I've got some chunks of fat. Yeah, I, I don't want to eat that, but... Chunks of fresh meat, though. That's quite nice. Uh, I won't be able to eat much more of that before it goes rotten, but... Right, it's gonna watch out for walking into that cone of light over there. Right, let's try over here. I can't remember if you get pipes from Display Rex. I'm gonna find out shortly. But, um... Yeah, here's the liquor store. Any zombies in here? No? That's cool. Alright. There's a lot of great stuff in here, actually. I've got shopping carts as well. I might just grab one of those. Ah, energy coke and stuff. So, there's a fridge. Let's smash the fridge. Uh, rubber hose. I'll grab that. Because those are useful. But I didn't get a pipe from it. So, here's a thing. There we go, there's a pipe. Now, you can't build that. Shut up. Uh, let's toggle the ones that we can build. Where's the wood stove? Do we need one pipe? Yeah, metal tank and a pipe. Okay, we've got everything we need. What we can do, though, since we're here already, is go to this side and say dragged vehicle. I already have. Okay, well, let's just grab all of this booze then, I guess. And... Actually, we want to go to all tiles that we can see there. That's what we want. Uh, nope, dragged vehicle there. All tiles here. There we go. Yoink. And let's stand here. And... Yoink. I'm getting some rotten stuff there, but... It's alright, we're in a hurry. We want all of the things. I didn't want any of that copper tubing or anything. <laughs> Uh, see, I'm not even sure what all this is over here, but I might as well grab it all. Yeah, this is how you loot, if you're a, a loot whore. I just tend not to, really. I don't like to clutter myself, but uh, it's all useful stuff, I suppose. I could make a ridiculous amount of Molotov cocktails or all this. And I certainly won't be short of drinks ever, so... Alright, okay, destination area full. We have a shopping cart full of booze and a pipe, so off we go. Whoops, that's a fence. Yep. So yeah, as soon as I build this wood stove, I can uh, cook this meat that I just got off that bear. And we can be living like kings. Alright, here's the house. And the correct map marker for once. Alright, close the, <laughs> close the door like that makes a difference. Yeah, I'll patch up the walls eventually. That'll be fine. Right, and that was my drinks thing, wasn't it? Well, I'll, I'll store the drinks later. That's going to be a bit finickety. 
Right, build wood stove, X, build it there, and there we go, I got a wood stove. So I guess I want something flammable in there, a mini nuke. <laughs> I can't believe I've just been walking around with two mini nukes. That's a bit ridiculous really, isn't it? Uh, no, I don't have any, any wood to put in there. Oh, here's a fence, perfect. Two by fours. I don't need that many, but I will take them anyway. We'll have a roaring fire in our living room as well. So where's that splintered wood? Is it under other now? Yes, it is. And lights. Now we can craft some cooked fruit. Ah. So yeah, the frying pan is on the display rack behind us as well, so we can cook. And here, it's like jam but without sugar. Well, okay, I mean, it's not going to be very nice, is it? But, oh, do I need a container? Oh, okay. A plastic bottle. Poor cooked fruit rotten on the ground. Yeah, okay, I suppose. Ew. So I managed to cook some rotten fruit there. It's on the floor, that's gross. Cooked TV dinner. Oh, I didn't realise I had one of those either. Well, that's rotten as well. Bloody hell. Cooked meat. There we go. Too tired to function well. <laughs> ah, shut up. So yeah, I can actually sleep in my own bedroom now. And uh, use my noise cancelling headgear. But I'm going to uh, <laughs> let a snake into my house. Where are those 2 by 4s uh, Under weapons, of course. Alright. I hope this fireplace actually contains that fire. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get a book and read it by the fire. So we're going to read this uh, other electronic skill book. And I'm going to do this off camera and end the episode here. So we're in a cozy house with a wood stove and... Oh, it's three in the morning. Let's stop reading. And a roaring fire. It's just lovely. I'm liking this. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.